Hey, welcome to my shop. This is the Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman, Jean-Paul Tessier, an ice team pro with Clam Outdoors. Uh, it's getting time, tip up time. The houses are about ready to get off the lake and we're just getting up, tip up, setting them up. Uh, perfect time of the year to do this, March and April on Lake of the Woods. And what I like to do is I just like to go through a couple of the tip up options that they have from Clam Outdoors. So when you guys go to purchase your next tip up, you can uh, have some great information on what to get and why to get it. Now, pers personally, I do a little bit of a little bit of uh, walleye fishing with my pipe with my tip ups. Uh, but I do primarily pike fishing with the tip-ups, but right here we've got the blue ice Tip-up right here, which is great for walleye. They do have a pike version which has a little bit bigger spool Great tip-up for uh, early ice or else late right on the right on the ice when I when I get a little bit more snow out there I like to go for the uh, the Lunker deluxe wood version um, just allows me to set it up a little bit higher uh, when you have a little bit more snow out there. Uh, but I do try to block these edges a little bit. You're not going to want to use this on your 30 below day or 20 below day or 10 below day because obviously you're, uh, you're going to get that snow and ice onto that tip up. But this is a nicer, nicer day. I'm going to say March, April when that sun's shining. 20 degrees, this is the tip up that I'm running out there each and every day. Lay down. Okay, now the next for when you do get into the situations where we uh, have snow and blowing snow. So the thermal, the thermal tip up, I love this, especially for Lake of the Woods. Uh, we do have lots of cold weather up here, but when I try to get on the ice this March and April for the tip up fishing, uh, we have had 10 below zero, we've had 10, 10 degrees, we've had 20 degrees, but when you get any type of cold weather on Lake of the Woods, this thermal tip up does the job and it does it well. Uh, you don't have to go around and make so many adjustments with your holes and check on them so much, but this is a great piece of equipment, especially in those uh, conditions, a little bit colder conditions that you're using, especially on Lake of the Woods. The last is the Arctic Warrior. And the Arctic Warrior is great for the angler that likes to hook and line, likes to fight that fish with their rod. You know, uh, it's a little bit different fighting it off of a tip up than it is your rod. Uh, it's a little bit easier, I think, to fight those fish on a, on a rod. And the Arctic Warrior gives you a great opportunity to do that. It's, uh, it's very durable, made of, made of some heavy metal. Um, and how this works, virtually setting it up into the, into the handle portion of it. And there's directions that come along with this Arctic Warrior, obviously. But the basics of it is, as soon as that fish bites, bites and your line will come down and your rod tip goes down, flag up. It's not any easier than that. And then you have the opportunity to come down over here. And one thing that you would want to do, and we did discuss this earlier, is uh, maybe put your drag a little bit lower. So if there is, there is a opportunity that fish catching that it isn't gonna pull the, pull the rod in, but it's still with this Velcro on here and the latch attachment, you should not lose any, any rods into the drink with this one but uh, it will let you fight those fish hook and line, which to most anglers is pretty darn fun, especially when you're talking about 38 to 42 to 43 inch pike coming through the, the ice, pretty awesome. Okay, now there are a bunch of, uh, uh, we'll say accessories that go along with these tip ups. One is your, tip up and rattle reel line, which is sold by Clam, which is a great thing to grab. Uh, the others that I don't have is a night bite light, but as you're fishing in a little bit lighter conditions or darker conditions, and that tip up goes up, a light will come on 
and that'll indicate that that flag is up. Um, so whenever you're tip up fishing, here's a couple tips for tip up fishing. Um, you know, I, I love I love the lunker, and uh, when I'm typically going out, and I know I've re I'll reiterate this again, March and April up here on Lake of the Woods, if you're looking for some giant pike, that's the time we start to chase them, and these tip ups are key to catching those pike out there. Um, you know, but but uh, besides the tip up, it's about where you're going to put your tip up and. Um, how do we go through uh, drilling the holes to figure out where we're going to put our tip ups? And one thing that I try to do is I try to use, utilize uh, a couple big rows. And what you're going to do with those big rows is you're going to really figure out. And you can start off a little shallower. Last year we found them about four feet of water. The year before that we were fishing at eight to ten feet of water. So every year is different. But what you can do is start off in that shallow, work your way deep. And when you have targeted and identified which flags are going off in that particular depth and say you got some weeds or no weeds, you're on sand or a mud bottom, once you identify those key factors of why those fish are there, surround, your, surround those spots with your tip ups. And hopefully this, this should help you dial in those fish to be a little bit more successful so you're not just uh, running around all day. Hopefully you're chasing some flags and setting some hooks. That's what we want you to do. Well, there's another little, another little trick of the trade that I would like to show you here. And this thermal, this thermal tip up, and it can be utilized for walleyes, it can be utilized for pike, um, but most importantly, when we get the unpredictable weather up here like we do, uh, that's why we go to the thermal tip up because you can be in April and we can still get snow. We can still have 10 below zero. It's just Northern Minnesota. And it's what, we, what we're faced with. And so if you're gonna go out in those conditions and you wanna have a great time, you better, you better go find yourself a couple thermal tip ups by clam. And the other great thing about these thermal tip ups, which I just absolutely love, is the fact of the readiness to them you know and i've been i've uh, used i've used uh, crates and i've used tubs and i've used a lot of other things to haul these thermals in but what seems to be the best for me right here is my six gallon clam bucket they fit right in nice and neat i've got six of them in here right now boom Easy peasy, ready to roll. Easy for transport. They don't get a lot of snow on them. Um, they're just a little trick you can you can use, and that's utilized by the trophy, the or the uh, the trophy thermal, which will go into the five gallon buckets and the six gallon buckets. Well, hopefully this will put you on some better fish, or at least give you the opportunity to be more successful on your next great adventure. This is Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman, Jean-Paul Tessier, Ice Team Pro with Clam Outdoors, saying happy fishing and God bless.